Dallas Comic Con 2023. Conventions are like the highlight of my year. I'm a cosplayer, they're like my whole thing. And today, on the Friday before the Oz Comic Con weekend begins, I'm going to be doing um, some, con some con crunching, you could say. I'm going to be performing in the Oz Comic Con cosplay skit competition. This is my first time ever competing in this. Um, it's also my first time participating in like cosplay performances in general. So I'm both excited and very nervous. I do love performing and I mean technically speaking I do do a lot of performing in cosplay except it's through video format. And this is going to be stage format, which is a little bit different. I have been a little bit stressed out about this because it's not the most well organized of cosplay competitions. I'm doing this for fun, I don't really care about the competition side of it at all. If I get off the stage and I feel like I did something that seemed somewhat cool, I'll be satisfied. Like with most cosplay performance competitions, um, you're not doing any actual talking or singing on stage yourself, you have an audio going over. The audio has to be submitted way before the con. And so I've had this I've had this brewing for like a little while now. But Comic Con itself won't actually give you confirmation if you've been accepted into the competition until a week before is what the Google form said. Last Saturday I still had no email in my inbox to confirm that I was gonna be competing in this. And then as the days went on, I just accepted that the answer was probably no and that I wasn't going to be doing this because I hadn't gotten an email. Um, so I was like, you know what, whatever, I'll just go and I'll just enjoy my con weekend anyway. And then Tuesday afternoon rolls around and they finally sent me an email. And so it was time to hit the panic stations. <laughs> this cosplay skit is a little bit ambitious for me. But to put it into context, it was less ambitious than other ideas I had. The reason it is ambitious, and the reason I am nervous about this, because I am going to be doing a quick change. It's far from an elegant quick change, but it's still a quick change and I still have to make it work, otherwise I'm going to look like an idiot. So today my con crunching is going to be rehearsing this skit over and over and over again until it is pure muscle memory and I am confident that I can do it. So day one of Oz Comic Con on the Saturday, I'm going to be doing the cosplay skit competition. So it's not going to be exactly a relaxed con day for me. The competition is also right at the end of the day, at 4.15 and the con finishes at 5. So it's going to be a late one and I hope my makeup still looks decent by the end and that this wig isn't just a bird's nest. But you know what? I'd be disappointed with myself if I didn't go through with this. So now I have to go through with this. Day one of this vlog is going to be very focused on the competition, and day two is going to be relaxed, strolling through Artist Alley and just vibing. I'm doing Cherry from Skate the Infinity here for my cosplay skip. I could go into further detail and tell you what it's all about, but I think I'm going to give you some suspense. It does have copyrighted music in it though, so I don't know how I'm going to post it to YouTube. <laughs> And day two we're doing Toga from MHA because easy cute cosplay, a little bit more relaxed than this. As I've said on this channel before, I'm notoriously bad at vlogging at conventions, but this vlog is going to be the best convention vlog from me yet, and you have to hold me to that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I am just stalling for time now, um, so I'm gonna go rehearse this skit. Wish me luck. I will see you tomorrow when we get ready for day one. All right, I am ready on time, which is a good start gonna be getting ready to head off sometime soon. We're gonna get to the con for about 10. There's like an author panel we want to go listen to. Um, and then we're gonna be staying right through to the end of the day because that's where I'm, I'm on to perform at quarter past four. I sprayed so much setting spray on this makeup. I apologize about the children next door bouncing a ball over and over again. There's nothing I can do about that. I did my cherry makeup a little bit different. I added like a eyeliner type of wing 
with the eyeshadow, which I think will look good for the performance and on stage, hopefully. I swear I did my makeup so dark and now I've got cameras and lights on and you can barely see any of the contour I did, but anyway. I'm gonna quickly grab some picks of cherry. I realize I've never done cherry picks with the pink lighting and I love pink lighting, so I'm gonna go take some picks. I'm gonna be in the vlog indie. You wanna show them how bad you're barking? Hmm? We did not realize how long the line went. Um, it snakes all the way around and back to where we just were. Advantage is you get to look at all the cool cosplays in line, so no complaints. Still got a long way. I didn't think to put on sunscreen, but maybe it should. Imagine you go to a cooking convention and you turn there's just like a line of cosplay. <laughs> Oh, they are probably very confused by all of this. It's all just middle-aged women. Oh, you did this too. It's like a food convention. Yeah. I was like, hang on, you wouldn't want to join the wrong line. Yeah. I think you can very clearly tell if you were in the wrong line. Look how many people behind us now as well. There's so many. It's moving. It's moving. We're gonna head straight to the panel and then yeah, go from there. It's like 10 past 10. I was gonna vlog and talk, but I honestly don't think you could hear me here. Um, yeah. We just finished up with the author panel and then I think we're gonna just wander around for a little bit. Okay, so since I am bad at vlogging at the actual convention itself, I will be popping in to fill in all the gaps. I'm getting very sweaty. We just walked back from the car. Um, one left. Um, I've got about an hour now before I go on, so I'm going to try and chill for an hour and not stress myself. So, so I walked back to the car and got the skateboard that I was going to need for the skit. And I got my costume all prepped for how I needed it to be able to do the quick change. It was about three at this point, but I knew that the cosplay competition for like the maid costumes and then the parade were going to be around that time. So I figured I'm just going to hang out by that stage and just watch the performances to fill in some time for myself. We'd already kind of done the wander because I was like, oh, it'd be good to like sit for a bit before I go do this. It was standing room only. So yeah, it was there as I was standing watching some of these amazing cosplayers go up that the nerves kicked in and I kind of realized, oh, I'm going to be going on a stage in like an hour. Oh my God. The competition started late, which set off everything else to be late. And when I was performing, it was already very late in the day. But I was like, no, they said four o'clock to be here. So at four o'clock I made sure I was there but everyone who was lining up was there for the parade and the competition already happening and so I was so like paranoid and anxious I was in the wrong spot or something. I left my dad to carry my bag and stuff so I didn't even have my phone on me or anything. I had no concept of time, I had no nothing. But I met some very sweet people backstage and then eventually some of the con staff were like you're here for the skit competition? I was like yes found out I was going fifth and that there were going to be seven of us. I also then realized that some of the cosplayers that I'd been seeing around me were people also doing the skits and I was like, oh my god, there are some people a lot more advanced than me here. As we took our place standing in line to when we'd eventually go up on stage in order, um, I realized I was going to be going after the fairy godmother from Shrek and the most amazing fairy godmother from Shrek I have ever seen in my life. Amazing, amazing stuff. We were all rooting for them because they looked incredible. But like, I had to go after that. And I was like, this is humiliating. <laughs> in a complete and utter daze and in a complete and utter rush of adrenaline, it was somehow my turn and I got up on stage and I can't even remember doing the beginning half of the skit. <laughs> 
it is time for you to see my performance. Awesome racing out there, Jerry. Please, it was just a race. It was nothing. You were totally showing off out there. What? You impressed Dimwit? Ha! <laughs> you wish. Keep lying to yourself. You know, it's been nice to see you're not so uptight lately. You're a little more laid back. We get along how we used to. Us get along. Listen, you buffoon. Keep up your passive aggressive compliments and I'll show you just how laid back I can Please, be. Please quit your nagging. You sound like my mother. Excuse me? Nah, Jerry doesn't act like a mother. More like an old man. You kids. No, no. Sherry's only gotten this way in his old age. I'm 28. You should have seen what he was like at your age. What was he like? <laughs> Probably a nerd. I was far from a nerd. Don't believe it. Don't believe it? <sighs> Fine. Carla, get me a picture of what I looked like as a teen. So, what exactly was Cherry like? He was pretty cool. You see, kids, Cherry used to be a little less uptight and a little more punk. I did it. I was, it was just pure relief that I did the quick change and that I wasn't like left half wearing anything. And as I stood there facing out of an audience with Cherry Bomb playing in the background, I very distinctly remember having the thought of, I'm just gonna go for it. Did I follow my choreography correctly? No. Hence why when I tried to do the air guitar, I was holding it in the wrong hand. <laughs> I went and stood behind the fairy godmother and as my sister pointed out in this, in this photo, when you zoom on on my face, this is what I looked like. So the awards were Best Individual Skit, Best Group Skit, a Wild Card Award and Best Overall. So there wasn't any group performances, so there wasn't an award for that one. So we we're left with three awards for the group of seven. The Wild Card Award went to Hatsune Miku, who was very cute. And then they went on to best individual skit. And uh, yeah, then this happened. Up next, we have our best individual, and that goes to drum roll, Hestiakos! Well done, Hestia. Take a bow at the front of the stage. Woo! An amazing yeah. dramatic monologue. I got an award for best individual skit which I genuinely didn't expect. I didn't really properly think about winning anything from this. I just wanted to do it for me. And when I looked at all the other people who stood on that stage and the fact they chose me, it feels like <laughs> I'm like, I don't necessarily understand it, but apparently I looked cool. <laughs> Hello. Um, I won an award for best individual skin <laughs> and started crying and that's the end of my content. <laughs> yeah, pretty much I, I went, I, it all happened, I walked off the stage, I went to my dad and I just couldn't get out any words because I just started crying. Yeah, it was just an overwhelming day in general. I don't even know if I was necessarily crying from winning the award, it was just like a, okay that's over and it felt like it was worth it. And of course, Fairy Godmother got best overall skit, which was very well deserved from them. Help Monica home! Of course, our wonderful Fairy Godmother. Thank you. 
Shout out to the cosplayer I met backstage who, as I walked on stage, remembered my name and yelled out, Go Amelia? It caught me off guard because I was like, who, who do I know here who knows my name? But yeah, they, they are the absolute sweetest. It was, it was an honour, honestly, to share that stage with everyone who was there. To Hatsune Miku and their great dance skills. To the Mortal Kombat guy who was pretty chill and had some epic martial arts skills, to Roxanne Wolf who absolutely rocked that look, to the fairy godmother who swept us all off our feet, to the final cosplayer who I'm not sure what anime they were cosplaying from but they were the only one to do like a really dramatic heartfelt skit and I think they should be super proud of themselves for that. To those of you who got the chance to meet properly and to those I didn't, I hope you had an awesome time on that stage as well. And that concludes my first day of Oz Comic Con. Thank you, Sydney, for being a great audience! Enjoy the rest of your evening! Have a see tomorrow! Look at this section, it's clear! I, I it's love it! Turn up at 5 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. And then it was time for Sunday and time to do it all again, except with a little bit less stress. I'm just gonna play all the footage that I got from day two for you. Here you go. Oh wait, you I haven't vlogged all day, but I only record important things. Just just sausage roll. And sausage roll. We've uploaded four seconds Yeah. Comic Con day two. Sausage roll. That is exclusively it. I don't think it's Oh, that's safe place. Very surprising. Look, I told you I was bad at vlogging at conventions. Look, I was I was tired. I, the way I described it in the morning, I felt crumpled on Sunday. I was crumpled. I had fun being a toga. I met some cool people and I bought some really cool things and I had a good day. So moving on to the most important part of this video. You thought it was a cosplay skit? No, it's the haul. What did I spend my money on? I'm gonna play a clip of all the stuff I got for you. To the clip. Honestly, my favorite things, the cowboy duck pin, I, I just saw her and I fell in love with him and I was like, I have to have him. The Tainari and Kole prints that I got, they're so cute. They're so cute. I have loved them so much. And I have to mention the banner. 
the Hummer and Madoka banner. I saw it and I literally out loud said, oh no. But listen, I looked at it and I fell in love. So yeah, I hope that you could enjoy this convention vlog, even if it is a little bit of a mess. I had, I had a super good time overall, both days. If you are any of the cosplayers I mentioned in this video, especially if you're one of the competitors, please let me know or link your socials in the comments below for people to check you out. But yes, thank you guys very much for watching and coming on this journey with me. I hope it's just the beginning of many things to come. If you want to see more content like this and you want to see cool cosplay skits on and off the stage, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.